Hey everybody, so we're going to be looking at uh, two sections in terms of hardware input digital cameras and scanners, and what affects the quality of scanning and taking photographs. This is going to be a very, very short video. It's just so uh, you can have a little bit of knowledge about the quality and what is affected by that. So let's start off with digital cameras. Well, the first thing that affects the quality of your photographs with a digital camera, and this is going to be a little bit obvious, I'm sorry, it's the quality of the camera lens. All right. So if you have a camera that you've purchased and you've paid a lot of money for it, you've probably paid more money because of the type of lens that you have with the camera. Cheaper cameras have just very standard lenses which are only capable of doing so much in terms of uh, light, you know, taking in light and recording of light and all that. So where you have a very, very high tech lens, a good, good quality lens, the better the quality of your photo is going to be in terms of the actual dots per inch that are measured. The quality of the image sensor. This goes hand in hand with the lens. The image sensor is a special sensor inside the camera that senses and then records all the light data that's coming in and then it records that information in pixels. Okay, that's very important. And of course, another one is lossy versus lossless compression of the image. When you take a photograph, using a digital camera, you can choose how much space you want to save by compressing the image or not compressing it at all. By not compressing an image, you use the full capabilities of the camera, the full capabilities of the lens and the full capabilities of the image sensor. When you are using lossy, that means it compresses the image, but so much so that you can't see the difference with your own eyes in terms of the quality of the photo, but the file size is a lot smaller. And you will see a difference if you try and increase the size of that photo, like expand it or zoom in on it. You'll see it starts getting very pixelated and very grainy. That's because it's been compressed, whereas a lossless photo has not been compressed and you can zoom in right up to every single pixel and often these are called raw r-a-w raw photos so those are the three main things that affect the quality of digital cameras and photographs let's have a look at scanning now although i know a lot of you won't be scanning a heck of a lot um, anytime soon it's good to know what is affected in terms of scanning because you might be using your phone as a scanner and these settings might very well be available on your phone depending on the software you use so we have the scanning resolution the dpi the dots per inch or ppi pixels per inch all right the more pixels it can squash in per inch the better the quality of your scan is going to be and as discussed in a previous video, the quality of your original document. In other words, if it's a bad quality photo, you're not going to make it any better by scanning it in at the highest res possible. Okay, ain't going to work. And of course, last but not least, the glass area of your scanner must be clean. Obviously. I mean, <laughs> if it's got smudges and stuff, that's going to affect the transfer of light and it's going to then affect the quality of your scan. But there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. Less than five minutes. Quality of scanning, quality of digital photos. Remember this for your theory exams. I'll see you soon.